the GIMP WIMP here. Uh, this is a simple tutorial on creating a uh, business card in a standard 10 card template which I've created for GIMP. And here I am. I'm a little wall-eyed because I spend a lot of time at the computer. And I live at the GIMP WIMP WordPress.com which is where we will be picking up your template. Now this is a sneak preview of what we're going to be doing. On the left hand side is the pre-made template which has been designed to accommodate 10 standard business cards. And on the right hand side we see what it will look like when you insert your business cards in the cells. Okay, so we go to the GimpWimp WordPress.com and we'll pick up the template. Okay, here we are, and there I am surrounded by papers as usual. Okay, go down to the right hand side, the bottom here, and click on the business card templates, okay? Right here. And that will pull up this blog, okay? Just scroll down until you come to the templates. Now, the first one here is for the 2.6 version, okay? And the second one is for the 2.8 version. So be sure of which one you're downloading and which version of GIMP you have installed on your computer. Now, we're going to go to GIMP because we have to have a location into which to um, paste this, okay? So we're going to go to GIMP. Okay, here we are on our way. Now, once you reach GIMP, pull down your screen here, and you go to File, open it up, choose New. Ignore this because it's the wrong size. Go up to your template and come down here to US Letter. 300 pixels per inch, which is a great resolution, okay? Press OK, and there we have it. Okay, I move it to the center of the screen here, and I'm going to reduce the size so it'll be a little easier to work with. Okay, there we go. So we're all ready to go back and pick up our template, okay? So we're going to pull this down, and we will go back to the template. Now you've got to watch out here. There's a little bit of a trick. If you normally when you copy you press right on your mouse and you copy and then you and then you paste it into wherever you're going to paste it. In this case into GIMP. Now we've got here a catastrophe. This thing is too small and it's absolutely no use to us. So we're going to go back to our Okay, back to the template. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to left click your mouse. And when you do this, this is going to expand. It's going to take over your screen in a very alarming way. Okay, now right click your mouse and copy. Okay, now we're going to carry this back to GIMP. There we are. Right click, edit. Watch out you don't copy. I keep doing that. Don't copy. Make sure you paste. And there you have it. There it is, your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This template is so important for this project. Okay, now we have to be aware of something here. In GIMP, when you paste two items together, you get these little ants, this little moving lines. And we have to get rid of that because we can't do any more work on it until we've taken the two layers and pasted them together. So what we do is we go to the top of your screen and you'll notice it says two layers there, okay? We want to make those two layers into one. So we go down to layer here and anchor your layer. Now as soon as you've anchored your layer you will see that the ants have stopped moving and you're now ready to begin. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to create a business card. I already have one on file, but we'll just show you what you're going to do, okay? You're going to go up to your... Sorry here, let's move this down. Okay, it's not, it's not obliging. Hold on. 
Okay, we're going to move this down. Now we're going to open up a new file to make a business card. Open up file, new. We'll just put it on top of this. We'll just, it, it'll be fine. Just like a stack of papers on your desk, okay? Now, we're going to have to be careful. You don't put in three and a half inches by two. It's not going to fit this template. You're going to put in one, zero, five, zero pixels by 600 pixels, okay? Otherwise, it won't fit. Now, why this is so, I don't know. I have no idea. But just what you see is what you get, okay? Press it. Now, it's very, very large. It looks extremely large. So, reduce your size to, I like it down, I like to reduce it down to about 50%. So, go to the bottom of your sheet here and there it is, 50%. So there's your business card. Now you can play around with that. You've got your, this is why you're working with GIMP, because you can do so many neat things with it. So let's just, there's your business card, da 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 bum 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 whatever, okay? Now once you get it done, you will have it ready to paste into your template. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down and pick out Hold on here. There it is. There's my GIMP card that I already made before. Edit with GIMP. Okay. So what will happen when I've done that is I will have it right here in front of me. Now it looks huge. It looks humongous. Don't worry about it. Click on edit. Click on copy. Okay. Then carry it straight back to your template. Click on Edit. Click on Paste. Okay? And there you have it. Now, we've got to... We've got those little ants running around again. And we don't want those little ants. We, but we want to be able to move this card around. So what we do is we go up and we find our toolbox. We pull it down. And then you go over to the side here and you choose the one that looks like a snowflake, okay? And you apply it to this, okay? Now this will make it possible to move your little card around and position it. Now it has to be positioned accurately. In order to get this accurate, I suggest you increase the size of your template to 50%, like this. There you have it, okay? And I've been very careful not to overlap the black lines. This is extremely important because we have a little trick at the end of this that won't work if you overlap the black lines. Okay, now we go edit and paste, and you'll get another free ride here. There you go, another card. Paste it carefully, okay? Now you're going to paste another one. And you get another one to do the same thing with, okay? Paste it carefully, making sure you don't overlap those lines. Okay, and I've done another one over here. And so on. I'm going to fast forward now. Okay, I've pasted them all in, as you can see. Now we'll reduce the size so you can see better. Okay. So there they all are. Now, as you notice, you've got those little ants running around again there. So you've got to go up to your, do the same thing. You've got to anchor this or nothing's going to work. Go up to your layer up here and anchor your layer, okay, until those little ants stop running. Okay, now we're ready to roll. Now, this is really important, what we're going to do here next. This is the greatest trick. We want to get rid of all these guidelines because when you cut, you can't possibly cut without slicing off bits and pieces of those dark lines. So we want to get rid of them, but at the same point we want to keep our guidelines. And as you can see, I've left a little space, a little white space here, and that's so that we can use the bucket fill and get rid of those black lines. Now here's how we do it. We go up here and we get that toolbox again. We need it. There it is. Okay, now what you're going to do is you first of all come down here and make sure that your black is white because we're going to use white paint, not black paint, which would make a horrible mess. 
Okay, go up to your little bucket here. That's your bucket fill. Okay, now very carefully place it on the black line. And there you go. Presto, we've got rid of all those white marks. Now the only thing you have to do now is to cut correctly. I've made the cutting lines here. There they are. Cut down the middle, cut off the top, and cut off the bottom if you like, or leave it to the end. And then you'll have two pieces. Make sure when you put it in your cutter, it's three and a half inches. Slice down here, and then two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches, and two inches. You will have 10 perfectly positioned cards, okay? And you can cut them at home with your home cutter, and you can print them yourself on a standard cardstock, okay? Now, I hope uh, this little tutorial has helped you. If you have any problems, uh, feel free to go to the GIMP WIMP WordPress and contact me. Leave me a note, and I'll get back to you and help you in any way I can. In the meantime, have yourself a happy and creative day. Mahalo, thank you, and namaste.